Hey everybody, it's your boy Masterful27 here. Welcome everybody to the channel. Thank you everybody for your support over the weekend. It's been absolutely amazing. And those who are existing supply um sorry, uh, existing subscribers, thank you for being really supportive. And those who've helped support me uh and, and as we sort of hit that uh, goal which YouTube has enforced on me, thank you so very, very much. We're almost there now, and hopefully we'll be able to live stream again very, very soon for the YouTube platform. So we're going to delve straight in, uh, and, and as I log into the game, I am fully aware we've got a research breakthrough to claim. So what we're going to do, we're going to claim this reward, get the seventh stamp there for April of the Ape, and get that stamped on there, and... Professor Willow is going to give us an incander, and this is really interesting because we're going to do some evolutions today as well. We're going to do some additions to the Pokédex, which I am missing, so we're going to quickly get an incander. Well, it hit it. That wasn't the best throw in the world, but one, two, and the third wobble, and that will get an incander. So we're going to do that in the in the um, in this edition. We're going to add some additions to the Pokédex, things that we've missed out, and we're hopefully going to catch enough bugs to get another cyber encounter as we do it. So we're going to open up the research. Walk 27.9 kilometers this week. We've got an egg almost ready to hatch. Maybe a bit of drifting can get that open during this vlog as well. We'll claim the reward and we're going to get some more balls. Need those. Got some silver raspberries, silver pineapples, I should say. Uh, need as many red balls as we can to keep feeding up the gotcha so we can get some catches when we're out and about and I can't get my phone on. So we're going to claim that. We're going to have a bit of a fun pack one. So we're going to go straight into the research field, research one. We've had two registeels previously. This is the third one. Hopefully it won't be third time in a row. Come on. Breakthrough, 2,000 Stardust. Pretty rare candy. We need those, actually. Uh, we'll do some, use some of those for the evolutions. Here we go. Mysterious Pokemon has appeared. <laughs> oh, oh, my days. Third one in a row. Registeel. Oh, you're already my least favorite tin can yeah when i raided this one um when it first came out uh i was not um i was not keen on it i think i did a couple of them we've now got five or six of them because they've appeared in these uh research rewards we're going to pineapple it we'll catch it now very quickly to start this another great curveball throw we'll get this one claimed because we want to get back onto this bug event and we want to touch on a couple of little news things as well uh which are going on so as we try and catch this registeel so as we were saying before the bug event now is nearly coming to an end uh we are now coming into the last couple of days of the bug event that has flown by really, really quickly. Uh, the cyber spawns have been pretty cool. Uh, loads of cyber spawns, in all fairness. So that's made it really, really worthwhile. You can get those in the research tasks, as I was saying. Ten bug type event ones get that. Opportunity to encounter cyber. And that in itself is pretty cool. Um, I still haven't got a shiny cyber yet which is really, really sad. Excellent curveball throw. That's what we needed there. Uh, and I'm hoping that we will get some luck or strike some luck in the next couple of days because everybody I know uh, seems to be getting shiny cyber, which is a little bit... It's, it's encouraging, what more one thing, but also it's a little bit infuriating because there's so many people now uh, that have got that dark green bug type one with incredibly pink um, joins in it in their pugs, which is a real shame because we really want to get that shiny cyber. So we've just caught it finally, uh, Registeel there. Um, and Registeel, let's have a quick check because that was being really tricky. It's a wonder attack, certainly impressive. It's not even, it's not awful, but it's not great. So that's that one there. So Registeel joins uh, the gang, as I would call it. So we've got to catch six more bug type Pokemon for the next ones. We've got a few of these stacked up here, a few Cyvers, uh, which I haven't caught yet. So what did I want to talk about? Well, there's loads of interesting things going on at the moment. So we had the GoFest festivals announced before. Chicago GoFest tickets uh, are now going to be, um, they've announced when they're going to go on sale and they've announced a bit more detail behind them. So that's really, really exciting and encouraging. Um, that's something that we're really, 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 really uh, looking forward to that. We're going to leave Hamdor there. And do you know what, actually? We're just going to leave that. So what we're going to do now, we're going to do some evolutions. This is something that I've been really, really wanting to do. I I've been trying to get hold. Well, I said to you on the last vlog, uh, Nincandas were really hard to get. Well, we've now got enough. So we have now got enough, which is absolutely brilliant. So we're going to start doing um, some additions to the Pokedex, which is really, really exciting. So we're going to involve Nincanda. 
this is really really cool we wanted to do this actually uh for a while didn't have it the last time it came around so it's an incander of balls come on Boo! there we go this is what i've been working on the bug event for i was saying this before oh look at that absolutely awesome addition to the poker decks there ninjask is now in the decks uh which is absolutely brilliant i wanted ninjask in the decks that has made my day oh that is absolutely brilliant so we've got another new pokemon in the decks which is absolutely brilliant. it's been a really overcast day today uh not really that nice in, in all fairness uh but, but it's dry uh which is all the matter so we've got that one in the poker decks that is what we wanted. And do you know what? I'm over the moon with that one because that is something that has been missing for quite a while. So we finally got it in there. So we're talking about Chicago Go Fest uh, before there. Uh, Chicago Go Fest is one of these things. They've had the picture come up. Uh, that one is shows you some really interesting pieces on it. And that's something I really wanted to touch on. So the Chicago Go Fest um, image is now up on the deck on the sort of site and it has loads of things on it which which are really really interesting so starting at the bottom left of it you've got mammo swine there uh which, which in itself it was swine up underneath isn't that exciting however 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 i think there's a little bit more to that one uh we were talking about this and a few other people have speculated on it. i think jt uh he was talking about this one as well I think there's a little bit more into this one. I think we're going to get the opportunity to have increased spawns of the shiny ones. It was on the community day. That's good. And I think there's a trick here because I think that links something into the next community days, even though it's a go first advert. But, we'll, you know, I'm not going to go too much into that one. Uh, we've got regional shifts. So if you look at the trees there, potential regional shift there uh, for the American one. So we'll see what happens there. But that's North America, I think, or Canada. So I don't really understand. Uh, that's not moving too far down to Chicago. But the big one, I think, in the middle, you, you've got you've got Haunter in the top right uh, from memory. Um, you, you've, got, you've got New Gen 4. We've got the Hippos from New Gen 4. Awful, awful sort of um, name there. But we'll flash that one up on the screen. It's just slipped my mind there. But they're there in the middle having a play around. Really cool one, actually, there on the Gen 4. Uh, maybe that signifies Gen 4 is going to have another batch of them drop on to go fest potentially i don't really know on that one and then you've got that the, this is the big one the water fountain feature which i believe is a water feature in chicago in the park they did it the first time around and you got horsey all over the place there a lot of rumors that horsey could be uh, the shiny one for this festival but we will see on that one because like i was saying before uh, you just don't know you don't know what the my mindset is uh, when they're sort of doing these things. And actually, every time you try and second guess it, as I've learned, uh, you're always a million miles away from it. But hey, good fun. Loads of things on there. So that is pretty cool. So we're going to do another um, evolution. We're going to pop that one up now. Um, just wanted to get enough candies for it. Um, and we've got it here. And we'll find it on here. Uh, as we scroll up for it another one which has been eluding me and we're gonna get it done now so we'll just get that reset on there so yeah finian is another one of the pokemon uh in gen 4 which has been eluding me but no more we are gonna evolve you we're gonna evolve my strongest cp one not necessarily my highest iv one because this will not be a battler one but it'd be quite nice uh, to get it in there so as we go up for the second new one i love the effect when it comes in wow look at that one absolutely amazing so that's a second new uh dex edition for this vlog which is absolutely brilliant and we have now got lumion in the decks so lumion in the decks interesting there comes in at 1396 cp so that one is pretty cool. So I'm over the moon with that one. So another new one. And this is the one I'm really, really excited about. I've got Shield and lined up there, 89. I'm going to get the one extra candy for Shield and we're going to do this evolution as well uh, on this um, edition. Uh, so come in, Shield and. This is the one I've been really looking forward to. I've been walking this one quite a lot. And actually, you know what? I'm going to use the last candy on this. Increase that to 50. Yes, thank you. So, Shieldon is going to be the third new addition to the decks today. Oh, this is absolutely amazing. Shieldon's one I'm really looking forward to, uh, even more so, believe it or not. So, Evolve, and Shieldon evolves. 
Oh, this is absolutely brilliant. This is brilliant. This is fun times, you know, fun times. We want to be saving on these uh, deck editions. We get the sparkles. Oh, there it is. And we've got the third new edition. Straight there. Slam it in the poker decks. Oh, wow. Another registered in the poker decks. We've got three of them on this edition. And we're starting to fill up that decks really, really nicely, uh, which is what it's all about. It's filling that decks up. Sebastian has joined the decks. Comes in at 845 CP. Really good one for battling this. We might be going to try and evolve, not evolve it, I should say, power it up just close to 1500. And I might use that in the Great Leagues then. Um, believe it might be quite interesting. So we're going to keep that one in there. So that takes the decks now to 75 in the Sino region, which I'm pretty I'm chuffed to bits with that, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. So that's absolutely brilliant. So we've done the decks editions. We're going to keep hunting for that shiny cyber because trust me, we are going to find it out there. And now what I want to do is, is we flip off the game there. Uh, I want to talk about something else which has just been announced as a potential rumour uh, in the game. Um, someone's been data mining this, uh, which is really, really exciting. And um, I love anything that involves a bit of data mining. I'm, I wouldn't even know how you do these sort of things. But apparently, Troll, or Charles de Trolls, I don't want to pronounce that incorrectly, but he's a really well-respected data miner, has found something in the new forms with Mewtwo. Apparently, and we'll fire some news music on as we talk about this, news music on as we talk about this, Mewtwo's armoured form has been potentially, it's potentially, as you say this, found in the data mining. So 0 0.139.3 um, shows that new forms of Mewtwo, and it's signified in the following text, Mewtwo underscore A, uh, Mewtwo underscore A underscore intro and Mewtwo underscore normal and they're working on the theory that the A might mean armoured. Now I know not no people can delve into this data mining and maybe they're trying to hide some of it in the code but that signifies there could be something interesting there and it says on the bottom incense reward a rework site Pokemon spawns may now include forms so what that means is I guess that incense is moving forward there might be a point to trigger it where certain forms um Evolved forms, I guess, might be coming in the game. Might be alone forms. Who knows? Alone ones might come in on the on the incentives. I'm not aware if they're available at the moment. So exciting stuff. And needless to say, that Mewtwo armored form looks amazing. Uh, something I'd love to get hold of. If that does happen. Um, but that is pretty cool. So that wraps up the little news bit at the end. Thank you all for checking out this vlog. Another edition as we head into another week on planet earth as i always call thank you for all your support please give me a big thumbs up for the vlog show me a like ping the bell uh, to make sure you don't miss out on any future notifications and i say thank you to all the new subscribers but also everyone now is part of the masterful gang it's great having you all on board and if you aren't part of the gang yet and you like what you've seen uh smack the subscription button that'd be great we're not that far away now from hitting the new impose target that youtube has set of a thousand subscribers so we're very very close thank you all working week now see you all soon take care